What's up YouTube, it's Abdur TCG here and this is part 2 of my uh, TCG online special. Uh, as you can see if you want to play online you have to click on multiplayer and choose rank battle or practice match. Uh, in this game I'm fighting against uh, Arjun Houseman and house means uh, my country house so it's actually uh, Arjun Houseman and she's the girl. Anyway uh, I'm up against uh, stage 1 rush deck so she has a uh, Dolphin Prime, Omega Prime and plus power in her hand. And I didn't have any basics, uh, as well as she. She uh, also didn't have any basics, so uh, we have to uh, shuffle her decks, uh, shuffle her hand into her decks again, and draw seven uh, cards again. It looks like I still don't have any basic Pokemon, which is a really bad start for me because uh, each time you don't have any basic Pokemon, your opponents get the opportunity to draw an extra card, which is uh, really crucial if you're uh, playing against a fast deck. So this is really bad for me. And again, I had no basics in uh, this hand as well. So I had to reshuffle again and uh, draw 7 cards again. And there we go, a basic Pokemon. We start with Magnemite, uh, 2 Magnemite. So uh, yeah, that's kind of great, but not the best start with a uh, Mega Magnezone deck because uh, I really like to start with Yanma and uh, get out the Mega as quickly as possible. So it uh, looks like uh, she has uh, one basic, no, no, 2 basic Pokemon out. And uh, yeah, she does draw the two extra cards uh, with um, yeah the ability to draw two extra cards because I didn't have any any basics in my hand during two turns I believe three turns but she also didn't have any basics that first turn so that doesn't count so uh, who will start it still so uh, yeah she gets to start as well so I'm in a really bad situation from the bat and uh, yeah I'm up against Cluffa, Yanma and a Fanti looks like I have a King draw in my uh, hand. So again, uh, I run the 2-1-2 two, two line of Kingdra, just for you guys uh, that didn't watch part 1, just wanted to see the battle video. Uh, yeah, I run the Taker line of Kingdra because this is my old deck, I upgraded it, upgraded a little bit uh, since I made this deck online. So, oh, she plays the Pokemon Collector, well, first she played the Poke Gear to get out the Pokemon Collector. And now uh, she used the Pokemon Collector and get out three basic Pokemon, which is uh, Menchino, Vampy, and Yanma. So uh, she has a full bench right from the start. If she evolves into uh, Chinchino, that could be trouble because uh, Chinchino can do uh, the attack, do the wave, and that deals 100 damage if your bench is full. So and, uh, I'm stuck with two Magnemites that can attack on the first turn, so that's really bad for me. And uh, looks like that's all she can do right now. So it's my turn. Oh, that's great. I start uh, with a Pokemon Collector as well. It's also great when you uh, start with the Pokemon Collector on your first turn. That's uh, really important. That's why I run uh, three Pokemon Collectors in my old deck and I upgraded uh, to four Pokemon Collectors in real life. So uh, I've got two Yanma and a Horsey. I'm gonna place uh, Yanma and a Horsey on the bench. And I'm gonna keep the Yanma just in case I wanna use Pokemon Communication or uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Pokemon communication for something. Alright, we have uh, attached an energy to the Magnemite and it's uh, again to my opponents. And uh, yeah, she uh, plays the Pokemon communication. Oh, she has a Zekrom, so uh, that's kind of neat to know. Uh, I guess that's for late game. Stage 1 is, uh, isn't that major of an attacker just uh, doing 70 damage with Yanmega, 60 damage with Dolphin, and 100 damage with uh, Chinchino, so. I guess Zekrom is the late game attacker, so she evolves into the Omega, which uh, she got out of the deck with Pokemon Communication, and now she plays Sage's Training, so uh, she can look at the top 5 cards of her deck, and if, uh, then choose 2 cards of those and put them in your hand and discard the others. So it looks like she has Pokemon Collector, Copycat, and Pokemon uh, Professor Oak's new theory that she decides to uh, put in the discard pile, and she knocks me out with Sonic Boom. Alright, now I'm gonna play the Yanma. Um, I use Pokemon Communication and uh, I was doubting on uh, choosing Kingdra or Yanma, so uh, go for the Yanma. And I'm going for uh, the Magnezone Prime, yeah. Because I have a Rare Candy in my hand and uh, I'm gonna evolve that Magnemite up to uh, Magnezone in one turn. First, attaching energy to Magnemite using Rare Candy for Magnezone. There we go, we have a stage 2 out, and I was doubting on using Magnetic Draw now, but I'm using Judge first. So two Kingdras, so you see I have the Tigger line of Kingdra. Uh, using the Magnetic Draw now, to pull 
Yeah, I'm gonna place the Yam on the bench and that, no, I'm gonna retreat and knock out the uh, Yanmega Prime as fast as I can because uh, the Yanmega can snipe and that isn't good for uh, <laughs> me because I haven't got a great bench, only 3 Pokemon, she has 5, so sniping is always bad. So we're gonna get rid of that Yanmega as fast as possible and there we go, I got my fir first prize as well. It's a Pokemon Catcher which is gonna be really handy when I need it. So uh, now it's her turn, she attaches a uh, fighting energy to Dolphin Prime and evolves to a uh, Yanmega Prime, so I'm out against two Primes again. I already knocked out a uh, Yanmega Prime and she uses Judge, so uh, there go all my cards, my catcher as well. And I get four new cards, so I got a switch, that's really handy because uh, my Magnet Zone is uh, practically stuck now because I used the Lost Burn to knock out the previous Yanmega. Yo, she uses the junk arm, discard two cards from her hand, and I uh, get an item card back from her discard pal. Pokemon Communication, and Professor Oak's new theory, we got back the plus power, oh yeah, she's gonna knock out my Magnezone with a plus power and using Dolphin's Earthquake. Yeah, that's what I also would do when I run this deck, so, but unfortunately the Earthquake has a downside, meaning you, can, you deal 10 damage to each of your own bench Pokemon, but she did manage to knock out my uh, strong and Ma uh, Magnezone Prime in one hit, so that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, I'm using the Twins, which is really handy when you're uh, up against fast decks and uh, you can't speed them out. So I'm um, uh, one prize uh, behind, so now I'm gonna use Twins, which is a really awesome card if you wanna uh, use the rare candy or something, or the cards you need that are crucial for an evolution. So I'm going for the Kingdra and a Water Energy. I run one Water Energy and my entire deck, so with Twins you can easily uh, get that energy. And I'm gonna evolve to uh, Kingdra to knock out that uh, Dolphin Prime. For That's really awesome for those of you who are saying you, can, you should drop the Kingdra line completely, but I think one Kingdra or two Kingdra is really awesome in this deck to come back against Dolphin Primes. So, now I'm uh, deciding on which Pokemon I will get with uh, Pokemon Communication. It's a uh, Yanmega, so just in case my Kingdra gets knocked out, I'm gonna strike back with Yanmega. So now I'm involving one of my Yanmas, doesn't matter which one, because uh, they both have no damage counters on them. Now I'm gonna use Spray Splash, which is uh, a Poke Power, which I can use each turn to drop one damage counter on one of my opponent's Pokemon, and I decide to drop it on the Dawn Fence so I can knock it out later on. And I'm now I'm gonna use Dragon Steam, which deals 60 damage. Uh, really awesome attack, but it gets uh, the base attack is only 20 when you're up against a Fire Pokemon, so that's not uh, very good. But anyway, she doesn't have a Fire Pokemon, so now it's really awesome to have uh, that attack. One energy, 60 damage, awesome. It's her turn again, and looks like she's dadding on using something, coming up with a strategy or something to get rid of the. Kingdra set up, so she attaches an energy to the Fampy, uses switch, and decides to switch uh, her Dolphin for a uh, Yamega Prime. And the Yamega Prime uses Sonic Boom to knock out my, uh, no, not to knock out my Kingdra Prime, but to at least give him some damage. So now I'm using the Spray Splash uh, on the Dolphin just to knock it out. So that was a cheap price with a Poke Power, so I can attack after that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I switched around my uh, Kingra for the Yanmega yeah, Prime. Sorry about the commentary, but my computer was kind of slow so I couldn't tell what's going on. Anyway, I'm gonna place the uh, Magnemite, um, no, I'm gonna choose Jirachi, Magnemite, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Horsey Yanma and Magnemite with Pokemon Collector. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna place them all on the bench, I believe using Spray Splash first. Always uh, remember remember to uh, use Spray Splash because I learned from mistakes that uh, forgetting a Spray Splash could be crucial for uh, winning or losing a game. So I'm gonna place Yanma, on the, uh, not Yanma, uh, Magnemite on the bench using Junk Arm to discard uh, Yanma and the Horsey. And to get myself, I was 
it's kind of dumb for me, but anyway, I'm gonna go for the rare candy just in case I pull a uh, Magnezone Prime. I probably shouldn't have used uh, the Junk Arm there, but anyway, I'm using Sonic Boom. But the Junk Arm was needed to uh, attack with uh, Mega to match my opponent's hand side, so that was kind of good, but anyway. She uh, sets up uh, uh, Yanma for active Pokemon. So now I have three prizes uh, that I have to token and uh, she only has uh, picked two prize cards so uh, I'm taking the lead here against the fast stage 1 deck which is awesome. So now she switches uh, her Yanma for a Dolphin and uses the Earthquake to knock out my Yanmega. But again, uh, damage on her own bench with the Earthquake. So this is awesome, I can use Spray Splash to knock out that Clefire, he's wide open. First giving a uh, Rainbow Energy to my Magnemite, dealing 10 damage. For those of you who don't know what um, what the Rainbow Energy does, and I'm using Judge. It's awesome, I have a Max Potion. I, run all, I also run a Max Potion, which uh, a lot of people don't put in the deck, but I run my own version of this deck, so to make it kinda unique. Now I'm using Magnetic Draw, I'm drawing 4 cards to have uh, 6 cards in my hand, so again 2 Junk Arms, which is will be really useful later on when I need some things like Switch or something. And when I place Jirachi on the bench I can flip 3 coins, and for each head I can attach a Psychic Energy, but unfortunately there aren't any Psychic Energies in my discard pile, so that didn't do a thing. So now the Spray Slides on the Cleffa, and he's out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a prize card, hopefully it's a good one. Oh, catcher. Will be really helpful. So, now I'm gonna use the Dragon Steam. And another Pokemon is out. So, two prize cards in one turn. This is awesome. So, uh, now I only have to pick one prize card and I win the game. Oh, she evolves the Minchino to a Chinchino. So, oh, I'm Pokemon Collector, which is a nice combo to, uh, um, yeah, to. Strength uh, attack of Blue Wave. Uh, the more bench Pokemon you have on the bench, the more damage it deals. So with three uh, basic Pokemon, I believe it will do 80 damage because uh, she's gonna switch the Yama around and uh, place three extra basic Pokemon on the bench. So in total, she'll have four basic Pokemon on the bench, or if all Pokemon doesn't really matter. So we see uh, her. Uh, ideal starter Pokemon, Fampi, Manchino, and uh, Yanma. She got with Pokemon Collector, and she drops them all on the bench to, uh, yeah, for the do the wave attack to make it more pow powerful. And she does do the wave. And my Kingra is out of there. And I, I pretty much won because I had uh, set up my uh, Magnezone with one energy, so I only need to attach another energy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose Lost Burn, and she's uh, yeah, I will I will win this game. So I c uh, some people always use uh, extra cards before attacking when uh, they need to pick one last prize card just to uh, have some sort of style going out in style or something. But I uh, just attack just in a line game, so it doesn't really matter what I do. All right, and there you see how I win. And for those of you who were wondering, yeah, Dark Joshi is my username because I. Had made that uh, account before I made TCG Zabdo, so anyways, that's uh, just information there. Uh, I already said that in part 1, so if you haven't watched part 1, you should check it out if you want to know something about the TCG online. And uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching uh, this battle video, as well as watching part 1 if you have. Uh, yeah, this was Zabdo TCG, thanks for watching, till next time.